Hello everyone and welcome. This is our lab related to INFS202, uh, IT hardware and software. So uh, in this lab we will be um, roughly going through some uh, points related to um, the Windows 7 environment. Uh, I believe that in the, in the previous lab, before this online tutorial, uh, in the on-site classes, in the on-site laboratory, we were able to uh, um, install, uh, format and install a new version of Windows 7 and get introduced to the, ver to, I mean, like, to the very first um, touches in the interface, configuring also the, I mean, like the first start, like re related to user admin and creating the password and all these kind of related startup uh, configuration. Uh, well, in this level, I, I will, I mean, like in this recording, I will just go through some details and like into a little bit more details uh, to continue or completing the previous uh, section and so these are the points that are roughly going to be uh, exp uh, that are going to be um, handled um, I believe that actually even you know like I'm talking about these points and I believe that most of you are already have uh, um, at least like a majority of majority of the ideas and how to I and mean, like how to open how to interact with the and um, with the different aspects but let's just um, wrap this up and make it like as one whole uh, a, a practice a practicing activity okay well the first one we will be um, exploring what is the libraries um, and all we, all uh, I mean like all of us know is starting from Windows 7 actually um, and there we have uh, we have something called the library that it's actually another terminology it's different from folders and also files as we know all right so going to the libraries if you go here this is we call this as a file explorer file explorer in windows 7 or like windows explorer to say right so click on it um clicking on it it will uh, it shows up like the main uh window here and the first thing you'll be seeing here is the library so um, i mean i believe that like majority of us the we we only tend to have i mean like to know only these four common libraries we didn't I mean like um, we didn't think of that we can create a library or I mean like using our own can we add a library can we uh, even delete any of these libraries or play around with them or maybe actually um, some of us they, they don't really care and then they simply just go to I mean, like whatever I mean like um, whatever the dri drivers here and create their own um, I mean like data folders or data containers well anyway so um, talking about libraries here it is just um, I mean like kind of a folder but it's just customized in a, spe in a very specific way to, so that it actually differentiate what kind of data you are actually storing here and this is from one side second thing here it actually brings an ease of access meaning that so I mean like whenever you're creating or pasting any data here that, that will be very easy for you to access them by only one click here instead of getting into the C or the D driver or whatever driver of your data that you're actually um, I mean like classically uh, saving or storing your data at so here by default whenever you install a clean copy of Windows 7 you'll be having four different uh, libraries so the first one is for documents has been created for you like for example if you have any programs even has been installed for example here I'm having EndNote this is one software that I that I'm using for a special uh, for a special kind of task to do it uh, I mean like to be done and then that for I mean like that um, application automatically links some of its folders to be in the documents some I mean like some of the files here I mean like some libraries here they are meant to be um, for storing kind of uh, music to say so if you click here these are actually the I mean like the default tracks that has been uh, played here I mean like that has been stored here um, from Windows so let me just go and play one to I mean like to give you a check on this and actually here I just want to give you one hint Let's say that actually I'm having like more than one media player, one media player, and we all know what is media player. Um, like the, I mean, like those kind of softwares that allow applications that allows us to play. Uh, th I mean, like the kind of video or audio um, files, the multimedia files. So here, w one of them actually I, I would like to use it. It is called the uh, VLC player, but actually I'm preferring to use another one that I'm having installing it. So once you have, I mean, like if you have one current, I mean, like. Mm, uh, application that runs as your default and you want to change it and you want to change it to be played with another with another pro program that has been installed in your machine uh, so to do that you can just right click on uh, on the file that you're uh, tending intending to play uh, select open with and then if it is not here in the uh, in the list maybe you can choose from I mean, like uh, other programs 
you can go and browse here so that you can browse what is your uh, I mean like the the folder name of the application you, you would like to play with here in this case I'm looking for a specific application called media player classic uh, this is one of actually one of the one of the famous and the best uh, kind of media players that that are actually being used so uh, link I mean like click on the install I mean like the application icon here and then open it will simply open to you here so um, just select it and I want it to be my default program so you can see and listen here so this is actually a kind of a media file that has been brought by I mean like Windows it is just a kind of an audio file well cool and very uh, relaxing well that's it so um well the second thing here I mean like um, if you let's just go out of that I mean like that music library we have also the pictures library as you know it also it also stores kind of a default these are defaultly being brought by Windows 7 so whenever you have any clean copy of the Windows you'll be having all of these pictures are I mean like uh, are given to you you can also I mean like um, from here let me also uh, remind you how to set uh, your screen uh, your desktop um, uh, background here if you just right click after opening double click on each of I mean like on any of these pictures I would like this actually it's very calm and peaceful and I like these kind of um, I like uh, pictures so right click on it and select here you can just set as select set as desktop background so if you select in that you can see that it's actually changing and there you go so um, very nice and and sweet well so um, these are actually pictures I mean like in this library I mean like all the kind of pictures you if you will if you even would like to create your own I mean, like folder and store your data same goes even for the other um, I mean like for the other libraries uh, you can do so actually so let's get out of that and then go to videos here also there are sample videos that have been brought to you so this is also actually being brought by I mean like the windows to test the I mean like to have a testing on the video screen you have here well um, this is very sweet so just now I mean like now that you we have we have been introduced to I mean like to the different libraries here I mean like now the question is can we create another library yes we can do that we can do that I mean like beside beside the ability for us to use any of these libraries according to ours I mean like according based on based on ourselves we can actually um, uh, create a library uh, so within the library it's actually being treated as a normal folder meaning that inside the library you can go and create another folder within the folder you can just give it a name like data here or like um, my pick my pics my pictures and then you can just copy paste whatever I mean like data you want to have okay let's say that you're actually going to I mean like to link you have some pictures here let's say that I'm having um, I mean like um, let's say that I'm having actually a folder here that has some pictures I mean like to say um, let me just go and install I mean like go and copy or like get some pictures from the internet so I'll go and write wallpapers for example okay so um, I will just here um, click on um, well this is okay block I don't know, any, any kind of wallpaper I, it, it doesn't matter to me it's just uh, that I want the uh, I mean like that kind of I'll just simply save an image as and put it on just put it on desktop here have another image here have another image and also save it we'll get that and save we'll get that much, much calm and save it on the save an image as on the desktop as well all right so uh, well this is it enough I do not want to make it as a gallery just for kind of demonstration all right so I'm having these pictures let's say that I'm, I'm having a folder here um, that I mean like that kind of folder my wallpapers for example and then I will just move these pictures here okay let's say that before I mean like before this now I'm having some pictures here that I have downloaded and I want them to be I mean like to be viewed here I, I mean like under the uh, the pictures you can just simply move them here or you can actually do this 
if you if you go here to this link includes here meaning that this library is linked to two locations is linked to two different locations here so click on it and see so these are the locations where I mean like the files and the data that can be stored at so if we go there let's say let's just go and browse for one of them so uh, if you go to see users public and then pictures let's just keep this open and go to I mean like the computer here go to see and users here uh, public pictures and there you go so exactly typically the same I mean, like this is the same um, folder that we can find in here okay or you can go and see I mean like the pictures under the specific user not a public user so the specific user here so I have my pictures here but this is empty actually okay so we either can place, I mean like can either interact with these two different locations or if you want to add another location, that's fine and this is actually even more practical. Even me myself, whenever I want to, I mean, like to interact with libraries, I tend to add more, I mean like I tend to add another um, file, I mean like another location because sometimes I may not be able to, to I mean like to move the whole um, data from that particular location into the and to any of these default locations okay so uh, with that reason actually I might need to I mean like to link or add to say here so if I click on add meaning that I'm, I'm actually instructing the I mean like the library here to add another location so I'm just navigating where my location here assuming that this is the folder that I'm going to include here well so um, this is it so clicking on it it will include the folder here okay so um, here under this so it will include whatever in the folder it will be displayed in here so clicking ok there you go so here I'm actually having like the different locations here alright so uh, double click on this you can just view and I mean, like go with the different uh, I mean like locations uh, well actually you can do the same for every I mean like for the rest of the libraries I do not want to go and even link them it's just easy to do that in the same in typically the same way here by adding or even you can remove if you just I mean like if you think that like I do not want to have this I just want to remove it so you can just simply remove it here and then maybe you can add another location here maybe again from the desktop let's let's say that I'm going to link to whatever data here whatever documents are being stored in desktop to be played here okay so but actually this is not recommended because in the desktop you may have documents you may have pictures you may have even shortcuts so it's not actually recommended to I mean, like to link the desktop in, in general I mean like clicking here but rather you should have actually I mean like um, data being stored in folders so uh, maybe this is like um, uh, data files for example alright so uh, moving this here assuming that actually we're just I um, mean like having that kind of file uh, and then let's just um, refresh this to take the uh, I mean like yeah, right here so this is it so uh, selecting this folder it is just about including a folder so if we just select that folder and then include the folder here it adds that so clicking here there we go so I have my report here has been linked here alright so um, this is very easy and sweet and even I'm, I'm telling you uh, I'm really using this too much and it helps me a lot so you can just easily access this so whenever you want to access by one click you can access to your data here so maybe I, can, I want my, I mean like I want to get my documents I want to get my pictures alright so what if you want to access something I mean like you want to have your own library you do not want to I mean like follow that kind of default classifications here All right you can do so I mean like right click on that I mean like in the empty area here and go to um, where we go I mean like well here yeah that, that, that will be here actually this is just for sorting and new maybe here new library or that I mean like the, <laughs> this is the simplest way it's already here you don't need to I mean like to look at it I mean like to look at it inside any details just click on the new library here and then there you go you can actually define your library so um, maybe like um, my study for example You just name it and you can go to properties here under properties you can include folder in the same way maybe I want to include the same I mean like the same folder that I, I mean like that were that I was concluding here so including that it will just um, I mean like adding that kind of folder here all right so um, even customize the library what kind of I mean like what kind of data what kind of uh, data you want to store here you want to use it as, as general document pictures or video because 
Based on that, it was actually giving you the, I mean, like some privileges or some, um, I mean, like functionalities. So most likely we use it as a, as a, as a general, especially if you have like multiple types of files here. Okay, so um, that's it. So we click apply here and then click OK. So there you go. Clicking here, you'll find that you have already linked that to, I mean, like to your library. You can also edit the locations here again in the same way and adding or deleting more, I mean, like one or more locations. All right, so um, this is actually very simple, and you can notice here that under libraries, even it has an access. It has been brought here in the, I mean, like in the leftmost, uh, in, in the leftmost side, uh, in the left, uh, most side of that, I mean, like the panel of the, I mean, like of the Explorer, the Windows Explorer. So you can easily access it here. All right, so um, you also uh, you have something here shown as as favorites here. You can actually um, even um, like click on any of the libraries here for example and um, somehow you need I mean like you can actually add them to I mean like to the I mean like to to the favorites not actually the libraries maybe it's that kind of um, well it could be that sent to let me just add, yeah create a link here yeah could be actually just creating a link Restore open and new window. All right. So if you just drag the folder here, it can simply actually create a link to the, I mean, like to the favorites here. Whereby you can even you do not need to access or create a library. Sometimes you may need to just have like one folder to be accessed here in in the favorites without creating a library. So that's that will be very easy. So clicking here, it will just simply link you to that particular folder that you're actually in. All right. So um. Um, this is actually one part, so let's just go back so that we can just um, work with the other items here. So now that we know libraries and different libraries, how to use them, now we want how to create them, how to create them, and even the editing them. Editing meaning that adding contents, linking them to some uh, locations, as we have done. Well, moving to the second point here, related to folders and files. So folders and files, I think this is, I mean, like, this is the most commonly known point. I mean, like, for any of you, I doubt that whenever you're actually turning on your computer, if you don't know what is it, what, what, or I mean, what does it mean by folder or how, what, how to interact with folder, then you are not using the computer at all, <laughs> particularly when we talk about, like, Windows operating system in particular. All right. So, um, but let's just, I mean, like, um, put this together and refresh, uh, refresh this. Hopefully, we are getting more information than the information you have in your experience. Well, um, talking about folders, let's just take the same, the same uh, example here. This is a folder. This is a file, as you know. So a file is just a place where you put your data in. So this is a file. So a file that it contains the data. While the folder usually it's contain it contains file files contain one or more files. So it could be like a PDF file, as the one in here. It could be like another kind of uh, text document here. Um, data dot yeah, it could be data here, could be any any kind of, um, I mean, like, uh, files. So it's just a group of files, could be in the same type or different types. Okay, so um, these are, I mean, like, the, I mean, like, the difference between files and, and documents. So um, talking about the, you know, files, of course, they have, they have many types. And as you know, text, PDF, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, all the Office files, I mean, like, different Office files, they have... Each of them, they have different, I mean, like, um, type. How can we differentiate between each of these? It is by using something called extension. So here we have the file extension. By default, whenever you are actually installing Windows, um, here, file extension. So let me just type this for you to remember that. I mean, like, uh, files are differentiated by their extensions. So what is the extension here? It's it's just an appended, it's just an, it's just an appended piece of um, um, I mean like piece of letters um, that is enclosed to the file name, and in order to specify what kind of data can be stored and how the I mean like the file can be manipulated and implemented. All right, so um, this is uh, if you just hover over the I mean like the file using Windows, you can see that the type here it's a text document. Whatever I mean like what about the other one? The type here. Or like you can just um, some some files you don't need actually to have I and mean like to have a type, but producer here for example PDF text 
all right so um and even if you just go here again it depends on the way how you how you are showing i mean how you are displaying your file so this is a text document this is a pdf file so sometimes you may need to also include um i'm having here actually microsoft word all right so um uh, test for example this is my file name so this is microsoft word so um hovering over this so it microsoft it says microsoft document i'm having even more than that let me i have excel here so uh, let's just give it a name and then um let me just add another one here um let's say for example powerpoint and uh, let's say um also yeah um what else what else yeah that's that's most probably the the most famous one access and then access let's say that all right so all of these are different files and you can see the different types here all right so um how to display there i mean like that i mean the extension let's say that okay maybe some i mean like in, in some files of course you see the different icons here are differentiating the files but how do you how do you want to know if this file if this file is actually um i mean like a, a database file or it's just an excel file so sometimes you need to have I mean like you need to have something confirmed to you so how to do that is by enabling the extensions so enabling the extensions it requires you to go to organize here I mean like the, that that button in the corner click on it and go to layout uh, sorry go to folder and search options and then go to view here so um, if viewing here there are some options and advanced settings that you are selecting here so there is actually one option that we want to un, uh, un untick here it is like hiding the extension for known types if you untick this and notice that what will happen here clicking apply here it is it will display the appended part of the files all right so clicking okay here so this one is xl xlsx this is this one also is acc db and this is text txt this is pptx pdf and docx and so on and so forth all right so um meaning now we can say that files have different types while folders actually it's just one type of folder so it could be like when i mean like it depends on the place i mean like we can say actually there is like a shared folder there's actually a normal folder okay so this is an admin folder but actually this is beyond the i mean the discussion that we are doing now we are just handling the types in general talking assuming that we are using a standalone operating system and the standalone system and we're differentiating between the files inside okay i mean like between i mean like the types of files and file folders all right so so now the second thing here it's to i mean like um to say um differentiated by extensions here then okay so creating deleting files and i believe that this is very uh, naive kind of uh, instruction to say if you just go here right click on it you have a list of uh, a list of options here you can just go to rename delete delete copy cut so rename is just simply renaming the file whatever data you want to add here it, this is very trivial actually to say if you want to delete it you can even use the keyboard and click on delete i mean like press the delete key showing this so deleting this it will go to the cycle bin here as you can see all right so um but there is sometimes a, a way of deleting if you just go which is actually even not being reached from here delete here it will send that file to the i mean like to the um, i mean like to the cycle bin but if you want to permanently delete it without sending it to the cycle bin you can go you can use the shortcut the, the short key the, the, the keys in the keyboard that there are shift and delete if you click shift and delete and you can see here noticing that are you sure you want to permanently delete this file yeah if i want if i click yes i cannot see that my file that has been sent to the uh, cycle bin rather it has been deleted I and mean, like right away out of my disk okay even i can select different um, data i mean like different files by holding the control key or like uh, uh, hovering or I mean like uh, joining I mean like uh, selecting them by 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 the mouse and then simply uh, click on delete in here all right so um well just coming to that let me just go again and uh, create another text uh, saying that this is data I because I'm, I'm going to perform now what we call by how to how to write I mean like how to make hidden files and folder and this is our last topic in the tutorial here all right so let me just type some data hello from data I'm typing hello is kind of all right so I'm making it some kind of correct saving it and then close it so um, if you right click here on it and go to properties 
you can see that there is actually some attributes here read only hidden and you can select read only you cannot I mean like if you just type read only meaning that you're only uh, reading it you cannot modify it but hidden here this is the one that we are looking at so um, it is just a hidden file and here actually there are some information um, displaying the I mean like information and data about the date of creation date of modifying modifying date of access what when when is the last time it has been accessed the last time it has been modified also that it has been created and also the size in it and the size on the disk and uh, the location here all right okay of course this is beside the I mean like um, the name of the file with the extension so clicking on hidden here so um, if you apply and then click OK so the file is gone you cannot see it here all right so it means that it has gone into hidden so same thing you can do actually if you have another folder here let's just go and make another folder so um, uh, this uh, like secret let me say that because actually most of the hidden whenever we are hitting items it means that we are actually bringing them to be more secure not to be visible to the users so let me just add another uh, another uh, file here um, key for example let's say I'm, I'm, hi I'm hiding one two three four four five six seven this is a very secret key and I want to uh, hide it right so um, clicking here again I do not want to hide the file the file now uh, but rather I'm, I'm going to hide, the, to hide the entire folder so clicking here on the folder properties and I will be showing the same things here same details almost but I can just go and click hidden applying on this so it will show me that you want to change the fault uh, do you want to um, apply changes in this folder only or the subfolders and files because sometimes let me just show you this and maybe I didn't do that if I have different uh, I mean like because it's highly it's highly possible that the folder has some subfolders inside it so um, uh, data for example here and inside data there is actually one um, this could be like some files could be some uh, my data and here uh, this is my data file personal okay and this is save and closing it here so that file now has actually some files and then some folders here so I want to hide it so that I mean like that uh, that order when I click on it it usually displays this this message telling that you want to hide also the subfolders and even the containing files in it yes so you can you can select this if you do not want to do that while well, you can select that if you want to agree to hide everything so clicking on it again here so it has gone it was here but it has gone all right so um this is the way how we hide fi files and folders so you can just now uh, think well i have hide my data then how can i get it back well <laughs> that would be actually very easy the same way we have gone here for the extension let me just even um hide the extension because this is actually not a proper uh setting to to leave because sometimes you mistakenly delete the extension leaving the file unnamed because deleting the extension is very important it may it may it may actually disable you from entering the file uh, if you just delete ex its extension with the name coincidentally so make sure that actually most of the time unless you want to show the extension is that the extension should be actually hidden okay so here we are hiding the extension and we're going to do one thing here this is the thing that we're going that we're going to practice here so hidden file and folder so uh, by default it's not shown okay but we want to show it here okay let me just go back all right let me just apply this first and then click okay my folder here it's already gone it's it's already brought back even also whatever data that I mean like whatever file that I have here the one that I have I mean like uh, as a file that has been hidden it has been brought up back and you can see it has been faded up and a little bit faded here why it's because it's in the, it I mean like Windows now it's indicating the disk that this kind of folder it is actually hidden okay so that's why you, you are I mean like he's treating it the Windows is treating it as a, a special kind of I mean like a folder that has a different kind of attributes uh, I mean like um, comparing to the default one okay so um, clicking on it you can also see the, da the whole data it's already here and then so whatever data inside also it will be displayed here alright so same goes here for the, for the file case so you can actually display the data alright so let me just actually uh, I mean like the settings and exploration here is really deep and you can actually make it uh, so long like especially when you talk about properties of files and folders you can go to sharing when you want to share this on a network uh, but this is actually not our topic and I will just let you let your anxiety 
uh, I will just let your enthusiasm and let uh, your c kind of curiosity to go and by yourself um, explore like one by one but now I'm just like um, uh, purposely uh, discussing with you these points and I hope this has been informative for you if you have any question you can just discuss with me and um, I'm, I'm thanking you for just watching this video and wait me for more thank you so much